Hello and welcome to all of you joining us for what could be one of the moments of the season. There is a real sense of drama and expectation in the ground. The subject that has dominated the fans being, will their club be a top-flight club once these 90 minutes are up? It's as big as it gets in league football, the privilege of playing amongst the very best, the ultimate prize, and it is there for the taking. Let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus. But this game has already taken on a real attacking edge and the longer that continues. Uh, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pastor to pick him out. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, that goal has got the whole stadium rocking here. This is exactly the kind of atmosphere the players should feed off now. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Poveda. Downing. Plays it out to the wing. And it's Downing, tries to dink it in, just brushed off the ball there. Some good work on the right flank, now what's next? Downing. Ball's out on the left, now. Has he picked him out? Assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Poveda. There has been just the early goal here, and the score is 1-0. Diogo Dallo gets it back. Diogo Dallo. Diogo Dallo switches it towards the other side. Surely a foul, free kick. And he's going to have his name taken. Decent hit from there. Downing. Blackburn getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Downing. Blackburn have a free kick.
Across the field it goes. Fifteen minutes till half time. It's broken loose. What an adventurous run from a defender. A chance to play it in. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And he is going into that little black book. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Oh, what can they conjure from this one? Well, he can get masterful control on free kicks, and his focus is usually second to none. Decent enough try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Poveda. Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Oh, the ball's come loose! <laughs> Downing moves short. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore... This is gone, that's a foul. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. The post and that has been clubbed away Poveda absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game well they say that your front lads should be that first line of um, of stopping the opposition and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out Battles to win it back. <laughs> and he's got the ball glued to his feet. Gets into some space. Goes for the cross. And he's there to... Real chance! And that has been cleared. A decent effort as the first half draws to a close. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But it still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Leading 1-0 at the break. And we are already promptly back on the way. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. He's got through. Keeper's ball. Blackburn, whose manager was the brains behind the last win. Well, Peter, he was lauded by the media, and quite rightly too. I think what he did was clever and decisive, and it just goes to show how tactically astute he is. He's had a look, he's gone for it! It's in! They have done it! They have their equaliser!
And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, Peter, there's a great ebb and flow to this clash, and it's above all expectations for me. He goes long. <laughs> Timely intervention. An equaliser that's put the cat amongst the pigeons now, and the fact that it's arrived early in the second half makes for an intriguing watch to come. They'll be very annoyed with themselves for that. Diogo Dallo clips one through. Adama Traore goes for goal. about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too, it was all very well drilled. Blackburn are able now to make their substitution, it's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. So we have a breakthrough. Now, how will things develop from here? He's picked him out. Has a goal! In for the pieces! He's got away with one there. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. Just the wrong outcome. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. <laughs> this defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Drives it towards the front. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Oh, sweet feet. Oh, that's a fine challenge. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. And it's played forward. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Big relief, it just needed better contact. Blackburn just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear.
So here comes the substitution. It's got through to him. Well played, he saw that coming. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, his instinct and the timing of his runs have proven fruitful, but they have to give him a harder time. Chance! Would have won it. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Time is ebbing away, but it feels like an eternity when you're holding on to a slender lead. Into the last five minutes. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. And he's cut it out. Blackburn need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Hoists it forward. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. And it's Downing. It is now or never. Time is against them. Up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases the chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Forward it goes. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? It's a loose ball. So that's it. It is all over. They've worked so hard and so long for this. Delight mixed with relief. Promotion is assured. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, all I can do is offer my congratulations to everyone at the club, Peter. They made it a target from the very start, and it's been a, a thrilling and, and sometimes tormenting ride at times, but all has come good in the end, and they deserve it. It couldn't have happened to a nicer club. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.
Hello, one and all. We are glad to have you on board for what must surely be the most unmissable game of this season. It could seal the final destination of the title. Of course, there are minor conditions attached, as with all of these things. Three points are required. Sounds very easy on paper, but it could well prove to be otherwise in reality. Bristol have been on a poor run of late. It's five home games without a win. Tries to dink it in. Out of play for a goal kick. Tries to get it forward quickly. Forward it goes. And out to safety. Bristol were quick to defend their manager in the wake of criticisms levelled at him in recent days. Listen, there's just no hiding place. Uh, and it was refreshing to hear him admit to getting it wrong. He miscalculated, human error, we move on. Decent looking ball. Tries to get it clear. Helps available out wide. A really good feat. Dinks one in. It's out for a goal kick. Brings it forward. Something big. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Yeah, I think for them to get their noses in front away from home is brilliant, but these home fans will demand a response. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Colback drives it forward. Knocks it away. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. to the keeper and go again Masengo tries lifting it over tries to get it clear so who's he picking out All the way back, and they start again. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Oh, 
Oh, that's a fine challenge. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Gets it upfield. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Nicely measured pass. Adama Traore. Played out to the right. Played back in. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Just brushed off the ball there. Ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Goes for it! Trust Mark comes to the rescue! And that has been cleared. It's come loose. Could be thinking about a shot here. Shot at goal! They've scored! Two up now, and they are cruising. He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due, and it was a brilliant setup and finish. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. So that's two now without reply. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. With the first half, and the opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? It has been a remarkable contest, decorated by goals, and two between them at half time. Well, we're already into the second period. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Bristol have it back and they can go again. Masengo it away well that's the first attempt Peter we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play and the shot oh and they really should have been made to pay Bristol are able now to make their substitution it's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now no, he didn't quite meet it right. And it's played forward. Oh, 
hoists it forward. Gets into a dangerous position. Bristol uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Shooting chance! No attempt, just the wrong outcome. I think his face smacks of disbelief as opposed to disappointment. Uh, he thought he was about to score. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Well, that's where he wants it. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Has gone out. Necessary. Well weighted. And now they can launch a count. Wells! It's anyone's could fall kindly. Disappointing finish in the end. Bristol were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Looks to bypass the midfield. Sessignon does well there, alert. Here it is now, surely! Real chance! And it's there! And the lead is extended still further. Jim, your thoughts? I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Mawson. And it's played forward, and again, they run up against stubborn defending. Back to the keeper, and try something new. Keeper's got good distance on that. Tries to get it forward quickly. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Just about enough. Forward it goes. Callback gets into the right position to intercept. And the ball is out of play. And he's away. Big chance! Oh, taken with style. It could be a lifeline. Two more needed. And that really is so, 
so impressive. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. So is this the start of a comeback? And the counter is on. Sessegnon gets it back. And here's the chance to counter. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Plays it over to the other flank. Diogo Dallo. The ball's come loose, and the chase is on. He has it out wide now. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Turns and goes back, and the ball's come out. Chance to shoot. That's pretty clear, it is a foul. And he's going to have his name taken. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Peter, the keeper knows that even if his wall is perfect, it doesn't serve as any... He's gone for goal! journey's end and what a journey it has been after the blood sweat and tears now the glitz and the glamour a ceremony for the champions and now the formal coronation acknowledgement of the best team through a long demanding campaign so much hard labor and now so great a reward
Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. The action has already started. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Gets into a dangerous position. Oh, good ball. Rodrigo. Gets it back. How about a shot? And the finish! Away from immediate danger. His chance! Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Plays it over to the other flank. Tries to get it forward quickly. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. Quarter of an hour played. Still goalless. Hoists it forward. And that's been levered clear. And no. That is pretty much the end of that. And it's played forward. It's a loose ball. Davis. And here's Rodrigo. Nicely controlled. And that's sprayed out wide. Here it comes. Going through. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. What an adventurous run from a defender. And here's a corner, good chance. And it's hoisted clear. To the left it goes. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. <laughs> Forward it goes. 
leads. Keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. The goal now would certainly liven things up. Yes, it is. First 45 minutes are up. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How to review the first half? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. So, deadlock still as the second half begins. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Rodrigo. Rodrigo with a shot! Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Davis. Davis goes looking. Good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Turns and goes back. Real chance! <laughs> Taken with style! Just the pick-me-up the whole game needs! Calm, composed, confident. What a super goal. I just thought he knew exactly what he was doing by failing to move one way and then readjusting back. Control tricky. <laughs> Leeds have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Oh, Half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. And he's going long. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Back to the keeper and try something new. And it's played forward. So, Jim, what are you thinking? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to stick or twist Peter in view of, of the time remaining. He might have a, a tough call to make now. It is a corner. <laughs> Leeds making another change here. Leeds showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. 
Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. He's looked long this time. And he's made sure that that won't get through. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Play. And the shot! No, not this time. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. All the way back, and they start again. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Just a quarter of an hour to play. Brings it forward. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Phillips. Time is ebbing away, but it feels like an eternity when you're holding on to a slender lead. Can he deliver? Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. He has great set-piece prowess, I think you know what's coming, but stopping it, another matter. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but couldn't help notice that he was starting to to labor a bit so and he's going to wreck time left surely this is it well some fans are already on their way out so that to me says everything Peter hoist it forward oh that's clearly not what he wanted to do Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get their passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. And that's it. So they bask in their win, and a genuinely professional performance, and a result which is well-deserved. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads and in the story was...